Way ahead, way ahead, way ahead. Jungle shaggy, let's get a walk on the yuhachekey ayo hey. Jungle shaggy, let's walk on the checkey ayo hey. Way ahead, way ahead, way ahead. Jungle shaggy, let's get a walk on the yuhachekey ayo hey. Jungle shaggy, let's walk on the checkey ayo hey. Way ahead, way ahead, way ahead. Jungle shaggy, let's get a walk on the yuhachekey ayo hey. Jungle shaggy, let's walk on the checkey ayo hey. Way ahead, way ahead, way ahead. Jungle shaggy, let's get a walk on the yuhachekey ayo hey. Jungle shaggy, let's walk on the checkey ayo hey. Jungle shaggy, Olowa. This is the medicine wheel song. Let's go through each word of the lyrics. And when I say the words, please try to say it the same way that I say it. Because I'm teaching you the music of the language and I'm teaching you like where to put the accents in the words. So this is why please say it as close as you can to the way that I say it. Say it like me, in other words. And the first things that you hear are vocables, where you see way, ya, he, ya, that part, that's all vocables. This is using the voice as an instrument and not necessarily singing words, but singing sounds. That's what vocables do. So after the vocables, we begin with the Lakota words. The first one is chungleshka. This is a medicine wheel. Some people say it's a wheel, but when we say it, we mean a medicine wheel. So, repeat after me. Chungleshka. One more time. Chungleshka. Very good. The next word is ski. It means the. Or sometimes it's used to separate different parts of the sentence. So repeat after me, please. Ki. One more time. Ki. Very good. The next word, lechela. This means only this. Repeat after me, please. Lechela. One more time. Lechela. Very good. The next word, waka. This is more than sacred. It's like sacred energy, sacred movement. It's like life energy, the energy of life. So repeat after me, please. Waka. One more time. Waka. Very good. The next word is Cha. This means so or therefore. Repeat after me, please. Cha. One more time. Cha. Very good. The next word, you ha, means to have. Repeat after me, please. You ha. One more time. You ha. 
Very good. And the next word, chekia. This means to pray. Repeat after me, please. Chekia. One more time. Chekia. Very good. And yo is a gender ending. It's a male gender ending. And when singing Lakota, when men and women are singing together, the whole idea is that every syllable is pronounced the same. So, in singing Lakota, both men and women will sing yo. But when speaking Lakota, this is a different rule. When speaking or talking Lakota, women will say yeah. So there's a difference there. There's kind of an exception rule when it comes to singing. So please keep that in mind. I know a lot of feminists are going to say, well, women don't say yo. Well, yes, they do when they sing. Okay, because the whole idea is for men and women to sing together, to sing the same number of syllables, and also to make the same sound. Also, we have a story called When the Moon Cried, where it talks about the reasons why these things are this way. So keep that in mind. When men and women sing together, they sing the same sounds, the same syllables. And so this is why when women are singing with men, women will say yo. And that's the whole idea, to sing together. So let's go to the next one. We already have this word, chongleshka. It's the medicine wheel, as I said, or some people will say the sacred hoop. So let's say it again. Repeat after me, please. Chongleshka. One more time. Chongleshka. Good. Again, we have almost the same sentence. This word, le, means this. Repeat after me, please. Le. One more time. Le. Very good. And we already defined waka. Let's just say it again. Repeat after me, please. Waka. One more time. Waka. Very good. The next word, we ha already had it. Cha. It means so or therefore. Repeat after me, please. Cha. One more. Cha. Very good. The next word, we already had this. So let's just say it again. Chekia means to pray. Repeat after me, please. Chekia. One more time. Chekia. Very good. And we already had yo, and I just explained what that is. Now, this song is about the medicine wheel, that this is really the only sacred symbol. This is the only sacred thing to have a medicine wheel to, to pray with it. In the beginning, this is what we had. When our ancestors first came on the earth, this is what they had. And I can put links below in the description that tell you how we got the medicine wheel, because it's a very, very cool story. And one of the links talks about what it represents. The medicine wheel represents many, many, many things. To give you a clue, it, it represents the four parts of the self, your mind, your body, your emotional part, and your soul. And the medicine wheel shows that those are connected to each other. So if one part is too strong or it's neglected, the other parts become diseased. So it's very important to take care of yourself in all four areas as best as you can. And the medicine wheel also can represent the society, the four parts of the society. And it can represent the four categories of creation, the two-legged, the four-legged, the winged, and that which moves and grows. That's in the description below, okay? You see the link that says medicine wheel representations. You can click that and listen to a video where I describe the representations more in detail. And 
There's a third link there that is another video connected to the medicine wheel. And it teaches you how you can use this medicine wheel in your own life. That you can use it for helping you through difficulty, even when celebrating when blessings happen. This medicine wheel is also you. You are a medicine wheel. Like I said, it represents the four parts of the self. Well, you have four parts of the self. That means you are a medicine wheel. The medicine wheel, as I said just a few minutes ago, represents all four categories of creation. That means it represents everything. It represents everything inside of you, your body, your mind, your heart, which is your emotional part, and your soul. You see, it represents you and it represents all of creation represents a lot of things. Please listen to the links in the description if you haven't heard those already. So that's why this song says this is the only sacred thing because it's everything. Everything in the universe is represented by this medicine wheel. That's why they call it the sacred hoop. Some people say the sacred hoop of life. It's everything, including you. You are a part of it. You are a medicine wheel too. And all medicine wheels connect. They connect at the black, at the west direction. So that's what this song is about. You can sing this song when you are holding your medicine wheel and thinking of these things that I just said. Like I said, please, if you haven't watched them already, Please take the time to watch these three videos that I have listed in the description. It's Medicine Wheel Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3. Very interesting, informative, and cool videos. And when you know what the Medicine Wheel is, and you know what it represents, how we got it, and how you can use it in your life, you can sing this song as part of your own personal ceremony that I spoke about in this Medicine Wheel Part 3. How you can use the Medicine Wheel. The ceremony. It's your personal ceremony. If you don't have a Medicine Wheel, look at the top right corner of this video. What you see on the screen, that's a Medicine Wheel. You can make one yourself. You can make it out of whatever material that you want to. Some people like to say, well, it has to be made out of porcupine quills and and do you really want to go through all that? <laughs> do you want to go find a porcupine? Good luck. <laughs> it's not required that it's made out of porcupine quills. Okay, that's just one of the things Lakota ancestors did to make a medicine wheel. They used the quills because they last a long time. But you can make it out of whatever materials you have. Even draw it and color it in. Uh, it doesn't even have to have colors, as long as the wheel is there, yeah, the structure itself. And then you can have that with you, and then you can sing this song. You can sing this song when you're sad and lonely, or when you are hurting in any way. Or you can sing this song to be thankful for something. So I encourage you to do that. Take the time to do that. Learn the song, teach it to others, sing it together. And this way you can live, you will learn, and then you know what love is. Thank you very much for listening to this, and I will see you in the next video. Doksha Ake. Until next time. To learn more about Lakota spirituality, I have written a book called Wichocha Otehike. This book also includes Lakota star knowledge information. All the videos that I make, which are about Lakota spirituality, Lakota star knowledge, and cultural information, are based on this book. This book costs 99 American dollars, 
And this price includes the shipping cost as well as a tracking number. And to learn more about Lakota language, I have written a Lakota language book called Chante et Tanhan Owoglake, Speaking from the Heart. And all my Lakota language videos are based on this book. This book cost 119 American dollars, and this price includes the shipping cost as well as a tracking number. I also teach online, and I give spiritual consultations as well. The price for these sessions are 35 American dollars an hour. If you are interested in any of my services and products, you can send payment via PayPal to my email address, which is hechaka7 at yahoo.com. That's H E H A K A the number 7, at yahoo.com. And also include your shipping address and your email address when you send your payment. Ho, oh, lila pilamayelo. Thank you very much. Changlesh ka ki le wa kha cha yo Check it out.